Hey, Michelle here. Today I'm going to do a demo with the Instyler Max. A lot of my followers constantly ask me how I do my hair. So I'm going to show you two different techniques. One that I kind of slightly prefer a little bit more than the other, but you can decide for yourself. So to start this look, I'm going to prep the hair. I'm going to comb it all out, make sure there's no knots or little tassels and make sure it's nice and silky and smooth. One side I'm gonna curl and pin, the other I'm just gonna let it just drop nice, nice and loosely. And I'll show you what the difference is. There's two methods to this. You can curl and pin, which means when the hair is still hot, you curl it and pin it, or you can just leave it hang nice and loosely by itself. With my Instyler Max, once you clamp the mechanism together, it rotates. If you double tap, it goes in the opposite direction. So whatever way that you are trying to create a curl, it will go in the direction of the hair. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna take a section. I'm gonna leave my little thin sections at the front out of the way for a moment. I'm gonna take a thick section. Make sure my Instyler Max is going in the direction that I want it to go, which it is, it's going clockwise. And I am going to wind it around and clamp. Don't get afraid if a little bit of your hair is sticking out. You have natural layers in your hair, well the majority of us do. And if that's the case, it's not gonna be caught in the clamp. You can try and get it back in. Make sure you don't get your little finger stuck. <laughs> you don't want to feel that burn. So I generally leave it on for about 30 seconds. Really let it heat up because then it'll last. It's not going to budge. And I'm going to let it drop. And you get a lovely curl. Okay, so the, the curl is going to be nice and hot. I'm gonna wind it around my two fingers. And I'm gonna pin it to my head. The reason why I do this is to let the curl cool down so that when you take them out, they literally don't budge. You're gonna have curly hair for about three days if mother nature allows you. <laughs> I'm gonna do the front now. I'm only going to wrap it around twice here because I don't want it to come up too high at the front of my hair. And you'll notice that I'm kind of dragging it down the hair at this stage because I just don't want the curl to come up too high around the front of my face. I want the curl to fall down to about here. The reason why I use two fingers is because it keeps a good bit of distance and it makes sure that you have a nice big large barrel curl and not a little thin. Where do I? So if you don't have time to curl and pin, make sure that you hairspray the hair straight away when it's hot, otherwise it won't last. If you're like me and you've got heavy hair, you have to make it last. So this side is nicely set with some hairspray and now I'm just going to remove the rest. So 
you can see, the proof is in the pudding. One side is just slightly more bouncier after me taking it out of the curling pin. The other side, even though it still has beautiful shape, for me personally, it won't give me the same lasting power. I prefer this side. So if you have a little bit of time, do this side. If you don't and you're in a hurry, this is still equally as perfect. Maybe not quite as cool. So as you know, I am a makeup artist, but I do love my boho curls and to play with my hair. And if you enjoyed that, let me know and I'll try and recreate a few more of those looks too. Wrapping your fingers